Sicario, Day of the Soldado is directed by Stefano Salima and is the follow up to the film that Denis Villeneuve directed back in 2015. Which was a big surprise when it first hit thanks to the incredible performances from Emily Blunt, Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro. As well as a detailed and complex screenplay from Taylor Sheridan and of course the mythic and powerful direction by Denis. The film explored the intricacies of the Mexican drug cartel while weaving in a very personal and complex narrative. For Del Toro's character in these movies, Alejandro, the hitman, this brought up a lot of grey moral complexities that made the movie quite gripping to watch. The sequel, Soldado, is certainly a worthy follow-up to that first film. We have Taylor Sheridan returning to write the screenplay with a bigger focus on Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro's characters. This of course means no Emily Blunt or Denis Villeneuve, which isn't all too bad. I do prefer the approach the first movie took with having an outsider come into the world of the drug cartel and becoming exposed to the dirty side of the law that Josh Brolin played in. The director of this film, Salima, is a close friend of Denis and does a great job of recapturing the movie mood and tone of the first Sicario, while bringing in his own flavour. Soldado feels like a much more straightforward film than the first movie, where some of the complexities surrounding drug cartel leaders are kept more subtle this time around, and treated maturely as something that can't change overnight or in a two hour film. The movie revolves around the CIA kidnapping the daughter of a drug lord, as a means to try and incite a war between rival cartels. Things don't go quite according to plan, and Benicio Del Toro is left to protect this girl. Soldado also briefly tries to explore the idea of terrorists being smuggled into the US through the cartels, which as you could expect from these movies is handled quite seriously, but ultimately gets left to the wayside to focus on the larger cartel conversation. Which is fine and all, but feels more like a hot button topic that was thrown into the mix without any expectation to delve any deeper. This brings me to the real main issue of Soldado, is that in making this a simpler film, you lose any of the major complexities where these sorts of issues cross over, and any small mentioning of these issues just feels surface level without much exploration. The movie doesn't have that personal hook that the first movie had. The events of the first movie involving Del Toro's character are certainly brought up here. And we see Del Toro's character trying to redeem what was lost of his humanity in that first film. In Sicario, we knew that Brolin and Del Toro were shady characters. We didn't agree with everything that they did. And that was because Emily Blunt acted as an avatar for us, the audience. The way that we reacted to them handling the cartel and them operating in the grey area of the law had us questioning their motives. Because Emily Blunt was as well. Soldado doesn't quite have that. As we're jumping into Brolin and Del Toro being our main characters. And the treated more like typical agent type protagonists. They still operate in that grey morality, but the weight behind their actions is just lessened as we're rooting for them to get out of firefights alive rather than question whether what they were doing is right or wrong. Everyone's acting is on point though. Both Brolin and Del Toro bring the powerhouse performances that you expect from them and you can tell that the two have a great work ethic as their on-screen chemistry is fantastic. Any conversation between the two in the movie just draws you straight in. As with the first movie, Del Toro's role is much meatier and deeper than the role Brolin plays where we see Del Toro transform into this guardian figure, while Brolin's character is still pretty similar to the way he was in the first film. Isabella Mona, who plays the drug lord's daughter, does a fantastic job, where she is expected to do some fairly physically demanding and emotionally demanding scenes, with her often having to change quickly between English and Spanish, while acting opposite someone like Benicio Del Toro. The girl really holds her own here, so it's really nice to see her get a sizable role that isn't overseen by Michael Bay. There is a subplot involving a young boy connected to the cartel that does take a bit of time to build up, and ends up being quite vital to the third act of the movie. But every time that we cut back to this subplot, it felt more mandatory. Rather than me being, oh, I really can't wait to see what's going to happen with this kid. It does pick up for sure, but I would have liked it to have been more consistently woven into the main plot, so that I was more invested in this young boy. The movie is breathtaking to look at too, with DP Darius Wolski crafting some gorgeous landscape shots with our cast that will look great next to the Roger Deakins shots of the first movie. Hilda Gunnitzer takes over the musical score from the late Johan Johansson and carries over a lot of the familiar cello themes that we got in the first film. Everything is kept consistent and feels like Sicario, while there are some tweaks to those familiar motifs. The way Benicio Del Toro's character is ultimately handled and the way this film ends will probably be a bit divisive for fans of the first movie. There's a big important moment involving Del Toro's character that I think people will be either for or against, while the ending of the movie feels somewhat tacked on, where it's clearly setting up a third Sicario film, but leaves us wishing we had more answers resolved in this movie, rather than having them stretched out to the third one, which is what the producers have been aiming for, Soldado is a worthy follow-up to Sicario that provides us with another look at the shady workings of the US government and the Mexican cartels. Yes, it is more simplistic and straightforward this time, but I actually thought this movie was far better paced than the first film. As much as I love Denis, who takes his time to tell his stories, it's nice to see someone just jump straight into things. You've got some wonderful performances, mixed in with some pretty stellar shootouts that keep everything grounded and real, although I wouldn't say this movie is quite as grim or brutal as the first film. However, I will say that Sicario Day of the Soldado is certainly worth checking out if you were 
were a fan of the first movie. Sicario Day of the Soldado gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. Guys, I hope you like this review. If you want to see more reviews just like this one, stay right here for your monofix. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.